week. So on my way up here, I'm trying to sum it up and uh, kind of describe his life and what he meant to me and the family. <clears throat> well, I'm sure you guys, anybody knows who Wade Shaver is. Um, well, he grew up without a father in a house with five kids behind the little chef in Coatesville. His mother supported the family working at the little chef. They had very little money, and my dad once told me of all the ways that you could cook potatoes, because that's all they would eat for <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I guess that could be a joke. <laughs> he told me how they would boil hot water to take baths, and they would all try and bathe before the water got cold. All the kids in the family had to get jobs at a young age to support the family, and my dad was no exception. And at 10, he started washing dishes at the Little Chef. Any money was very important, and my dad collected the pennies from his mother's tips, and much later used them to buy my mom's engagement ring. And he also did this recently, uh, three years ago. He saved up um, a one dollar bills for five years, and then he bought my mom a ring, what, four times the size of the original one? Um, my dad had medical problems early on, starting with his leg going numb in ninth grade cross country. Uh, this would lead to many back problems and hernias, um, which you've all heard about. <laughs> and, it would him, and this would cause him not to be able to compete in many sports without pain or any problems. My dad went to coastal school and graduated from there, and he worked, his, worked and paid his way through Westchester College, it was then, right? Westchester College, and came out with his teaching degree. He started working at South Spring One and also at James Way at night. If um, I'm sure, I guess everybody here remembers James Way. There's no kids. <laughs> no hands. Um, James Way is also where he met my mother. Well, after the exotic. Uh... <laughs> he worked these two jobs for 18 years. It was necessary to keep these jobs to support the four kids they decided to have in four years and three months. <laughs> He worked from 7 in the morning to 10 at night and barely got to see us kids awake. And I'm sure it was one of the happiest days, was one of the happiest days was when he was able to quit James Way and spend his time with his kids. My father gave us everything, gave us everything he never had. He was there for us, he loved us, he tried to make us into kid geniuses. <laughs> I'm sure many of you don't know this, or many, many, many of you do. Uh, but we had homework when we weren't in school, <laughs> and we had extra homework when we were in school. <laughs> we all knew how to spell every state and do all the time tables before most kids knew how to read a sentence. He wanted to spend as much time with us as possible. He signed us up for everything he could, every sport, every activity, and Katie waited for speech competitions. I was lucky enough to get out of that. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, usually assistant coach for all main weight sports teams and when Katie played soccer. Um, his dad did not take, any part, take part in any of his life, but our dad was going to be part of ours. One thing, well, one thing my dad cannot do is cook. Um, if we wanted to get fly balls or play baseball after dinner, we had to finish our beets and fish sticks. <laughs> but I much preferred when we got hot dogs and popcorn. <laughs> During the summer, we would take a different trip each year in our pop-up camper. These are some of our best memories and some of the best home movies if you've been around uh, during Christmas time. We always play the home movies. Um, through high school and college, he would support us in all of our activities. He would give us anything we needed to try and get better, whether it was new equipment or just support. For me, he was like a second coach with track, and without his help, I wouldn't have gotten a scholarship to run a college. More than just the kids, he has touched so many others. He's one of the most well-known teachers in Coatesville, more importantly, most liked, and certainly one of the most qualified, with his master's and 60 credits. <laughs> during high school, and even when I come home, during high school, and even when I come home now, people still talk to me about how much they love their father. And I even know people who fail my dad's class tell me they love him. That's not a joke, I really even know people. <laughs> Not hard to find. <laughs> He's gotten numerous awards and praise for his teaching abilities. And he has given Coastal, Di Coastal School District 35 years, and the kids are better people because of him. My dad is a success. 
With his help, my dad has brought up. With his help, my dad has brought up four kids to be more successful than him. He has given us his values and his drive to make ourselves better. We are all successful and driven, and all of us have, all four of us have graduated from college, even though he all wanted us to go to Harvard. We all went to great colleges. I think Katie was the only one who went to go to Harvard. Um, of the siblings, Katie and Lisa are now overseas, living in Dubai, living the dream, and they're both very successful with their jobs. Uh, Wade was a collegiate athlete, and at the point in his time, uh, intern at a radio station, he has now has his own radio show in Virginia. And I was a collegiate athlete, and I am still in school. Um, I was supporting myself, finally. Uh, and trying to get my doctorate. And all of our accomplishments may not have been possible without our dad and mom to push us over any bumps in the road. To try and sum it up, my father was a great man. He worked his entire life to get what he wants and get where he is. Nothing has ever been easy for him, but that didn't stop him. We are all better people and hopefully happier people for having known my father. If you know my dad, you probably know this isn't a true retirement because there's no way my dad is going to sit around and do nothing. <laughs> Sometimes I wish he would just relax. <laughs> all the hardest work is over and you can finally do what you want. Well, Dad, I wish you a happy retirement and may you get to use your free time to travel the world and have new experiences. And I love you.